Then on Sports Central, we go for a March Madness game preview and prediction on the final four matchup between the Purdue Boilermakers and the NC State Wolfpack, two teams that have had incredible runs getting to this point. Purdue has finally broken through. This team, after so many disappointing tournaments, they are in the Final Four. This is a complete and brutal team to beat that's very capable of winning the national championship. But they've got NC State in the way next, an 11 seed that, if you think back to early March, this team was 17 and 14. They were out of the March Madness picture entirely, but then they win five straight games in the ACC tournament, win that, and now they've won four straight games in this tournament. Now they find themselves one game away from a national championship. Just an incredible story for NC State as they take on Purdue for a spot for the national championship. We'll be going for a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today. Let's get started with their team trends. Purdue, you look at the run for this team, beat Grambling in the first round, 78-50. to Be Utah State, 106-67. That's kind of when... I think we've realized, or we realized that Purdue was legit in this tournament, and uh, they probably weren't gonna go out anytime soon. Then they proceeded to beat Gonzaga 80 to 68. Close game against Tennessee, but that's to be expected. The Vols are a really tough team all around, and uh, Purdue managed to handle them and uh, beat them by six in the end. So it's been a challenging run for Purdue. Gonzaga playing really well, Tennessee playing really well. Now, obviously, both of those wins were especially impressive. And, and you look at NC State on the other side, it hasn't been uh, easy for them, that's for sure. They beat Texas Tech 80-67, to uh, beat Oakland in overtime, one of the potential Cinderella's of the tournament. Turns out NC State has been that underdog this entire time that's made that deep run. Uh, they shut down Oakland. They beat Marquette 67-58. And then just had a huge win over Duke. Duke playing as well as they did in the first three rounds. That was a really impressive win there for NC State. And this team is legit. They're an 11 seed, uh, which makes it seem like, and they've taken 14 losses this season. It feels like NC State, I mean, no one, once again, no one could have seen this coming in early March, but this has been one of the greatest March runs truly of all time. You consider the five uh, game win streak in the ACC tournament to win that, and even to get into this tournament and win four straight, just incredible what NC State has done here. But against me on Saturday, April 6th in Glendale, Arizona, tip is just after six Eastern. Spread's going Purdue by eight and a half here. So despite NC State having their incredible run and they've been pretty dominant overall as well, uh, Purdue is still a pretty heavy favorite in this matchup. And when you consider the matchup for NC State going up against Purdue and Zach Eady, it makes sense to see the Boilers as a heavy favorite here, but at the same time, NC State's been in this position all the last month. They have been the underdog this entire time, and that's what this team has thrived on. They have used that, and as a result, this team is now sitting in the Final Four, one game away from a national championship. BPI going 90% towards Purdue I think is insane. I feel like this game should be... Overall, pretty close one, especially based on how NC State's been playing here in this tournament. Yeah, Purdue's been playing really well as well, but the Wolfpack have been overlooked this entire time. And you look at the final four bracket. On the other side, there's going to be a challenge in the national championship. It's either UConn or Alabama. Many would imagine it's going to be UConn. The Huskies are the clear favorite to win uh, this national championship, and rightfully so, just based on how dominant they have been. Uh, it's pretty tough to bet against UConn as of now. Here's that comparison. Purdue, 84 points a game, 70 points allowed. Once again, a pretty dominant team all season. Took four losses over the course of the year. This is a 33-win team, and they were 8-0 against the top 25 in the regular season. This team has especially played well in big games against tough opponents this season. Then you look at NC State. Their stats not quite as impressive as you would expect out of an 11 seed, 77 points a game, 73 points allowed. But in this tournament, this team has found a way in each of their games. Their offense has been playing really well, and their defense has shown up as well in crucial situations. The defense really stood out against Marquette when this team allowed 58 points to them, and the offense has really stood out in each of the other three games, especially the Texas Tech game, getting 80 there, and then 76 against Duke. But your key points, Purdue. The Boilers have finally broken through. It's been an incredible tournament for this team. This is a much different year than past years for Purdue. This is a team that's been uh, become known for losing early in this tournament, but this I mean, once again, this tournament is a much different one. This team has been on a tear in this tournament, and it seems like uh, there's very few teams. I mean, you got four teams left in this tournament, but for NC State to beat Purdue, it's going to take a lot. The Wolfpack are going to have to play a really strong game start to finish. And when you got Zach Eady, who's playing as well as he is right now and drawing as many fouls as he is, that was huge against Tennessee for, uh, for the Boilers to win that one. And so, I mean, it's Goes without saying, Zach Eady is a brutal player to defend, and for NC State, it's going to take a lot for them to stop Zach Eady in this offense. 
But it feels like the sky's the limit now for the Boilers. They've broken through. They've won four games in this tournament. They're in a position to win their first ever national title. That is if they can get past NC State, who is a very dangerous team. And it goes without saying, this team to win nine straight games to get to this point, it's almost unheard of. NC State looked almost dead at the end of the regular season. Uh, they had several losses down the stretch. It seemed like this team was uh, just going to maybe win a game in the ACC tournament, call it a season and back it up. But this team to win five straight games, win the ACC tournament, to win four in this one, to win nine straight to get to this point. Uh, it's simply amazing what NC State has done. And this is regardless of what happens in this game for NC State, even if they do lose to Purdue or they advance on just an incredible run for NC State and something that's uh, that's definitely going to be remembered as one of the most incredible March runs of all time. Uh, but this is a talented team not to be overlooked. I mean, a lot of teams have, have learned that this is not a team to overlook, especially at this current point, and they're seeking their first ever national title since 1983. It's been done for the Wolfpack, but it has been a long time. But with that, let's get the prediction here for Purdue and NC State. Coming up here in the Final Four, who's going to advance to the national championship in the end? I got to go with Purdue. I'm going to take them by four in this matchup. I think NC State's going to keep it close. I know Purdue's a pretty heavy favorite in this matchup, but NC State, the way this team has played in this tournament, the way that they've played down the stretch here and uh, to make this run in the first place. I don't think NC State's going to go out in a blowout for sure. I think they're going to put up a fight here, but Purdue just has a slight edge. I like the matchup for Purdue in this one, and uh, based on the way they've played in this tournament, I just don't see NC State taking on Purdue here. Once again, though, regardless of what happens in this matchup, for NC State to make this run has been incredible, and I feel like this is Purdue's season to finally advance to the national championship. I'm going 55% towards Purdue. Still a game that can go either way. NC State's been overlooked this entire way, and they've been an underdog multiple times down the stretch here. And uh, so in the end, NC State keeps it close, but Purdue is going to prevail in the end. But I do have NC State covering. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, though, on this matchup. Who do you think advances to the national championship? And I appreciate you guys watching, as always. My name's Evan. This is All Sports Central. Stay tuned for more. We'll catch you on the next one.